Uh, it's 6 o'clock. Um, the meeting is now called to order. Um, this is our um, Tuesday, October 26, 2010 meeting. Um, we will have the invocation now by Pastor Clay Padgett, and the pledge will be led by um, Commissioner McMore. Good evening. Good evening. Let's pray. Father, we just come before your throne room with thanksgiving, and we just thank you, God, for being a God that cares and hears. And, Lord, we're so glad that we can call on the name of a God who has nothing that's impossible to him, that we can ask and you can move. And tonight, Father, we just ask you to bless our commissioners, those that, that we've elected to be in charge over our city, that you'd cause them to prosper, that you'd bless our local businesses and turn our economy, and may we surely see your favor shine on us once again. We thank you, God, as you give us wisdom and guidance this night. For us in Christ Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Please join me in the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Move to our presentation and delegations. Recognize James Carr, Gib Cotton, and Chris Underwood as September 2010 Employees of the Month. ITC Manager Jack Poland will address. Good evening. <laughs> See, I, I told him to sit up front and we have part of the wall. <laughs> I, I really take uh, great pleasure in <clears throat> presenting tonight three outstanding employees that have done a lot for the city of Griffin and uh, you can really I'd say contribute and uh, thank them for uh, the uh, internet uh, of the commissioners meeting that's now being uh, put on YouTube that everybody sees whether you may not want to <laughs> <laughs> should we thank uh, you? but uh, these guys worked hard <clears throat> and uh, uh, in accomplishing what we set as a goal for the city. Um, Chris really did a fine job with the software. Uh, you got to understand that, that we actually run that system over our, uh, our network, uh, and we run it in a <clears throat> Windows platform, and we store everything on a server. He built it, and he did all that work, which was uh, fantastic. The man here, Gibb, uh, awesome job uh, in installing the cameras around the Griffin One Center for Security, as well as the, the camera here that uh, <clears throat> records the meeting tonight. And of course, James, the webmaster, James Carr, did uh, an outstanding job. He edits uh, basically and puts it on the YouTube site uh, that. Uh, uh, gives us the ability to view uh, each and every one of you tonight and all the citizens here to see you as well. So they did an outstanding job, uh, and I can't say enough uh, for the kind of work that these uh, these guys do for the city. So I, I personally thank them, and I as well, I know y'all did. Yes. So Chris, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. <coughs> And uh, Gib, congratulations, so. Thanks. And James, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jack, may I, may I ask a question? Yes, sir. First, a comment. I think it's great. I think openness in a meeting is very healthy. But uh, the workshops are not on this yet. Do you plan on bringing our workshops on the? Uh, the workshop, um, I talked to Mr. Smith about this, and I really um, mentioned to him that we might want to say our workshops are now going to be put on the YouTube before we, we all understand that it's going to be recorded and put on the, the internet, and uh, yes, they are. Uh, as a matter of fact, this morning's workshop is already going to be put on the internet. So okay. the workshops are going to be Well, I think it's good to... I, I believe in putting it out there for people to see what we're doing and how we're doing it. That doesn't bother me in the least. So, uh, but the, both, both the workshop as well as the meeting tonight will be on there tomorrow. So you see Fantastic. Good. Great. Uh, who makes me sound like Minnie Mouse? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have to say you. 
<laughs> if, if you could lower that, I would love it. <laughs> well, gentlemen, you're doing a great job. Keep doing what you're doing. Yes. Good job. Thank you, guys. Okay, consider approval of a proclamation recognizing National Hospice Care Month in November 2010. Madam Chair, I move we uh, approve the proclamation. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Is that, um, all in favor, let me know by show of hands. The pro proclamation will be presented by Commissioner uh, Todd. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ms. Todd, there are a couple of other guests back there, too, that came in a couple of minutes. I will move right on into citizens' comments. At this time, the chairperson opened the floor to comments from the audience. <coughs> comments should relate to a specific agenda item, not listed on the agenda for a public hearing, or to a concern within the jurisdiction of the city. Commission meetings serve the purpose of conducting city business and are not a forum for the unlimited expression of opinion. The chairperson reserves the right to limit comments to matters germane to city business and may refer speakers to the city manager or other staff for resolution. Is there anyone to my left that would like to come forward and address the board? Is there anyone on the right that would like to come forward and address the board? Please come forward. <coughs> would you give us your name and address for the minutes? How y'all doing? Okay. Thank, Thank you. Sorry. My name is Cleavon Jackson. Excuse me. Would you pull the mic down a little bit more so? There you go. Thank you. My name is Testing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, my name is Cleavon Jackson. And I live um, on 412 Adams Street. And uh, he asked me to my 
second time coming or the first time, I really didn't. I'm, I'm trying to get more involved in, in, in the city, so I'm trying to learn. But I, I do want to say that um, I'm a part of a, a multi-level marketing company, and I talked to them about trying to get a, distrib- a distribution center here in Griffin to bring some jobs here. It's a health and wellness company, so I, I believe it will do good here. So people will be able to um, have health care benefits with the company. They'll be able to um, help their loved ones, a lot of testimony with natural products and stuff like that. People are getting healed, all different types of d- diseases and stuff like that. And also an opportunity to um, be a blessing to somebody else who needs a job and introduce them to us. So I just want to share that pretty much. And um, I'm a part of the music ministry. I want to get out in the neighborhood and... Um, Instead of having what happened around the corner on my block on Tinsley Street, I've been talking to some of the young guys around there, some of the old guys around there, how we can come together, excuse me, <clears throat> how we can come together and uh, make a change here for the best. And um, instead of pausing one another, we could be um, actually doing something that has an antidote and we can have our, um, our minds expand and, and, and once you get you get free you get of those um the poison, you get your mind expanded and everything, and you come to some great things here in Griffin. So this is coming some of the things I want to share tonight. You're well, welcome. All right, thank you. Thank, thank you. you, sir. Thank you. Good luck. <coughs> okay, under public hearings, receive comments regarding a resolution to adopt the 2010 tax millage rate. Marcus. Marcus. Uh, it's just we're just open for public comments. Anybody, uh, the millage rate has not changed. It's still 8.63. I'm putting my glasses on. 8.636 mils, the same as it has been. We're just open for public comment. Anybody has a comment about the millage rate before we adopt it officially? Okay, this is a public hearing. If there's anyone that would like to come forward to have a comment or address this item on the agenda, please come forward now. Okay, I guess there's none. We'll move right into the consent agenda. Madam, Madam Chair, I move that we approve the minutes of our regular meeting and the workshop of October 12th as presented. I found them all in order. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, let me know by show of hands. 6 0. Okay. Um, our regular agenda. Consider approval of a resolution adopting the 2010 millage rate. Madam Chair, I move we approve the uh, 2010 tax millage rate. I second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? I, I wouldn't. I guess I should have said of 8.636 mills. And I would like to make a comment that the public needs to know with the recession and the economy, the digest has decreased $5.2 million, but we have chosen to accept less revenue. We did not raise the millage rate. We kept it the same. And this board has once again squeezed and made do with less. So I'm proud of our fiscal stewardship. All in favor, let it be known by show of hands. Six zero. Consider approval to purchase four digital um, alley in car camera systems from Transcom the sole source provider in the amount of $21,280. Make a motion we approve the purchase. A second. I have a motion and a second um, to approve. Um, is there any further discussion? All in favor, let me know by show of hands. Six zero. Consider approval of a resolution for acquisition of easement and right of way according to engineering design plan as designed by the Georgia Department of Transportation on federal and State A project BRSTAL 2517 001, Spalding County, CS 9796 Street, PI number 343460, locally known as Sixth Street Bridge. Madam Chair, I move we approve the resolution as presented. Second. I have a motion and a second to approve. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, let me know by show of hands. Six zero. Okay, consider approval to award bid to low bidder Griffin Fence Company for chain link fencing and a gate in the lower parking deck area and amend the budget by $18,574 accordingly. Madam Chair, I make motion that we approve. Second. Second. 
I have a motion to approve. Um, motion and a second. Uh, is there any further discussion? All in favor, let it be known by show of hands. Six zero. Consider approval for the sale of 127-124-KW of excess reserve capacity to the City of Beaufort. Madam Chair, I happily approve the sale of electricity to Beaufort. Second. I have a motion and a second. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, let it be known by show of hands. Consider approval to cancel the regular, regular scheduled meeting of the City of Griffin Board of Commissioners in December the 28th, 2010. Make a motion we approve this present. Second. Second. I have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? All in favor, let me know by show of hands. Six zero. Um, city Manager's report. I don't have any comments tonight, Madam Chairman. Thank you. A city Attorney. Just one quick question. We are in the process on the CDBG projects of having to obtain a exception from DCA when we applied for those projects on, on the 2009 and 2010. Uh, Commissioner Holberg had conflicts with both projects because of property ownership in the target area. Uh, you had one on 2009, Madam Chairperson, and Ms. Davids, you had one on 2010. We're going to have to hold a public hearing. We'd scheduled and started advertising that for the November 9th meeting, but I understand this morning you're going to be out of town. Mm -hmm. All right. Ms. Davids, are you going to be here on the 9th? Yes, sir. All right. We may have to reschedule to a night when we have all three of you you here if that would be possible. Do all of you plan to be here the 24th as far as you know right now? I think yes. the 24th. Mm -hmm. It's 23rd or 24th. Uh, now yours is your personal residence, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Is that, uh, I mean, she would have to be present because it's her personal residence? I'm, I'm going to look at it and see if we can go ahead with it. So if we've already advertised one time, I'd like to go ahead with it on the night to get this completed and back to DC. DCA, frankly. Now this is a little late. Uh, it's a lot of overkill <laughs> because these folks properly recuse yes. themselves and Correct. have no part of it, and yes. still you have to have a public hearing. And they're saying we did not have sufficient citizen input into the process because it wasn't duly advertised beforehand. So now we're advertising it for a public hearing so that if anybody cares to show up to comment, they can. But <laughs> I think we all know there probably will be very little to no participation. But, but we're satisfying their criteria. Whatever. Okay. Um, Commissioner McLemore. I um, hope everybody made out to the October days, had a good time there, enjoyed uh, enjoyed the hatch market and the, and the bands and, and some of the food. So uh, well done to the organizers of that. I didn't see Vicki or Kira here, but uh, um, once again, a good, good program, brought the community together and just one more fun thing to have. Thank you. Commissioner Evan. Yes, I'd like to say, Mr. Bosch, I think I spoke to you once before, the other night at the MIAC, um, during all we had there. You did an outstanding job and all who was involved. I think that was real nice. I really enjoyed it. Also, Mr. Smith, we need to take a look at Fourth and Jefferson, if you get a chance. Fourth and Jefferson. They removed the house there, which I was complaining about, the old house. but. It's a lot that you cannot even see the roadway from this lady house. She's some complaining about. I don't know who owned it, but we need to clear it. Okay, is it at fourth the lot at fourth and Jefferson or fourth right by Jefferson. Okay. Right, right where the house moved from. Okay. Thank you, Commissioner Todd. Yes, uh, I would like to announce that uh, David Brock has accepted an appointment to the Planning and Zoning Board for the fourth district. We uh, hated to lose Chuck McLaurin. Uh, he had to resign due to health issues that were going to be ongoing. But we're delighted that David Brock will be taking his seat this next month on the Planning and Zoning Board. Thank you. Commissioner Bayon. Uh, no comment. Thank you. Commissioner Morrow. I have a couple, three. I second what Ryan said about the Oktoberfest. It was a great effort by uh, folks and Vicki and the other, Kira and the team. I talked to several people in the tasting area, then they said, oh, we love Griffin. Griffin's where it's happening. And two of them were talking about moving their businesses here because 
their respective towns around here were giving them difficulties, and they said Griffin is so friendly and easy to do business in, and I go, is that wonderful to hear or what? <laughs> I said, come on down, we, we'd love to have you. Uh, tomorrow morning, Laura Stewart will be my guest on the radio program. We're going to talk about customer service, which I think has come up long, long ways in the last few years, and I'm proud of customer service folks down there. And the last is something that I think is outraged. A number of us have heard about this. But you remember we honored Sergeant Joe Hudson for catching the uh, air conditioning gang who had stolen 57 air conditioners here and around other counties. And it was a great bust. They caught him in the act. They got a videotape confession and cleared up literally hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of uh, thefts of air conditioners. And we were informed today that the assistant district attorney has agreement to plead this out with five years of probation. No jail time, five years of probation for someone who's stolen untold tens of thousands, probably hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of air conditioners in this town. And probation for five years this is to me uh, an outrage, and I hope that uh, this gets back to our DA. It has not been finalized, it has to go before the judge, but I'm hoping that if anybody hears this or sees the article in the paper, which I hope is forthcoming, that we get some jail time for these thieves. Probation is ridiculous. So congratulations again to the team, Mike Morris and Joe Hudson, the chief, for wrapping this up. And I'm sorry that the ADA is making light of it. I'm done with my outrage for the evening. Thank you. Thank you. I don't have any comments. Okay, I move that we adjourn. Second. All in favor, let me know by show of hands.